Utah's serious water shortage is forcing the agriculture community to change their ways. Yeah, and it could change the future of farming all across the state. Our own Dan Spindle traveled to Emory County to see one high-tech solution in action. You can talk about conserving water till the cows come home, but any conversation surrounding the drought crisis in our state starts with the people who've worked this land for generations. They know the issues, and they, more than anyone, want to address them long term. Their way of life depends on it. What it is, it's a solution to a problem. Whether the rancher has a shortage of water problem, a shortage of acre problem. Lee Magnuson is talking about sustainability he wants to bring to the most arid corners of Utah in the form of new technology using hydroponic grow systems by Hydrogreen. That's the plant time. Lee's big brother Rod is way ahead of him. And this requires no soil. No soil, no fertilization. No fertilization. No. Nope. Simply applications the, the, of some water. The energy of the seed. While he's not on the payroll, Rod could be an ambassador for this new method that just might change the way farmers and ranchers do business in the Beehive State and beyond, feeding their livestock not from the fields, but from these long trays sprouting grains seemingly in no time at all. When I seen it, I'm like, I've got to do that. It's all about conservation, and when you think about the fraction of the water and the time versus what it would take to grow the typical grain, this red wheat went from this yesterday to this just five days later, and it's almost ready to go. This will become feed for livestock within hours. And then this is all palatable, the roots, everything, they eat it all. Rod tells me this beautiful green growth can supplement some of the nutritional needs of his 1,200 head of cattle. It doesn't replace the need for pasture grazing or trucking in hay and straw from other places, but it does cut it down, saving money and saving a lot of water. My 80-acre pivot will use the same amount of water in four and a half days as this building will in 365 days. In a year. In a year. <laughs> Consider the nearly 18,000 Utah farms. What if just 1% of those operations installed some kind of vertical farming with a year-long harvest window? Compare that to the two Olympic-sized swimming pools worth of water traditionally needed for each season for every acre of alfalfa. Best case scenario with hydrogreen, a 93% drop in water use. Now imagine the entire dry Intermountain region, 141,000 farms across 121 million acres. How many swimming pools worth would that save with just a fraction installing greenhouse-style growing facilities to supplement some of the fresh forage needed to keep the animals fed. You could put one unit, 10 units, 20 units. The scale and scope of the retrofit at any given operation depends on whether or not it would work. These longtime rural Utah ranchers recognize it's not a one-size-fits-all solution, but farming into the future isn't getting any easier here. Try to buy into farming, try to buy into ranching. It's impossible. If you don't have the land in the family, uh, you're not going to buy in. But buying into a potential fix to the water and land crisis, that's a seed the Magnusons and others are willing to plant in hopes that this parched landscape gives them a shot at success for years to come. In Emory County, Dan Spindle, KSL 5 News.